We've got the rain here. Now I'm just waiting yeah. to see snow flurries in the valley. That would be fun. That would be nice. And where we are getting snow, it's probably kind of heavy snow, yes. I'm imagining. Kind of stuff I get stuck in. <laughs> heavy wet snow. Heavy wet snow. That's Hard right. Skiing. Everything is elevation because there's been so much moisture. We've had two to five inches of water content just from past weekend in this storm system. So that's a lot. I want to show you the late week forecast. So the jet stream, which has been coming in from the southwest and going way up to the north, bringing mild weather in, is going to sag to the south. Late week forecast dragging it on down to the south. The jet stream dividing cooler air to the north, mild weather to the south, and the jet stream bringing in moisture right along the middle of it. So if you're on the just on the northern fringe of it, you're going to get cold and snow, and that's the case here. So our weather pattern looks pretty good. I want to show you what I'm seeing. First of all, talking about snowpack, I literally just updated these numbers just a moment ago. Some of the colors are off in this, but I'm going to show you what's happening. You have to remember that the snowpack, in other words, the snow that falls in the mountain that's used in the, in the reservoir systems throughout the state, we're mostly high snowpack. We're talking 7,000 feet and up. That's where really the snow is important, and that's where it's been flying. Not so much in the Iwahi and Bruno area because lower elevation, so you're getting more rain. The snowpack is not as good. These are percents of average, but Boise, 25% above where it should be. Weezer Payette basins, the higher elevations are way up. The lower elevations are low. It's averaging about normal. Look at the Wood River Basin around Sun Valley, 221% of average. Way above average here early in the season, but great news all across the state. We're seeing some really good numbers, so the snowpack is looking good. Here's my mountain extended forecast. Now, this is just a general forecast for general central mountain locations. So tomorrow, I'm saying, okay, yeah, maybe we get an inch of snow as the precipitation tails off. Nothing major on Thursday. Now we're in the colder weather coming in, and so this snow is a lighter, fluffier snow. Could be a, a very, just some snow showers Thursday. A little bit more organization to the system coming through Friday. Could bring two or three inches of snow to some central mountain locations. Lingering snow showers on Saturday, a break on Sunday. Could be efforts to a few inches of snow on Monday the 10th and the 11th, a bit of a break. Or maybe an inch on, on uh, Wednesday with some snow showers. And some more impressive stuff in the middle part of December here. Could be a big storm system here, Saturday, Sunday the 15th and 16th. And then another one, there's some warmer weather coming in with this, but I think snow levels could go to around 5,500 feet here. And there could be, this is a four and a four. So this is not looking too bad. If one of these can break out to be a good sized storm system, we could be in really good shape for the ski areas as we get towards the Christmas break. If you can send us uh, photos, send them to iContribute at KIVITV.com. We'll get them right on the air for you. That looks good, Scott. It, it does. It looks better because yeah. when you're in that stormy pattern, something's got to happen. It all adds up. That's yeah. Right. That's Let's right. hope. Okay. Thanks, Scott. Well, we here at Fox 9 are proud 